Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. Back on a regular schedule after the holiday weekend. It's Tuesday. In true typical Canadian fashion, what would any morning be without our Tims? Another gorgeous day. We're going for lunch in the Kia Soul. Which is locked. Another storm rolling through. I was going to talk to you a little bit about what's going on this weekend, but I'll wait till the noise is done. Now that the rain has stopped and quieted down a little bit, I can tell you a little bit about what Junior and I are going to be doing this weekend. This weekend is the Atlantic Nationals uh, car show, which is the biggest car show this side of Toronto. So if you're not familiar with where uh, Toronto is, it's almost in the middle of the country and uh, so this event is huge. It attracts cars from all over uh, Eastern Canada and the United States and some from even further away and uh, Moncton is about a two and two and a half hour drive away so I'll be taking my car and Alex will be coming with me so the temperatures are supposed to be pretty decent, about 22 degrees um, and a little bit of a wind. So that works to our advantage because my car doesn't have air conditioning. And um, when you're up there, there's not much cover. When you're walking around, you're out in the open and uh, it can get pretty hot. So um, we went up a couple of years ago after I had built the motor for the car and uh, took it up, got the motor broke in on a nice long drive. So we'll be doing that again this weekend. We're going to leave early Saturday morning so that we can get up there before lunchtime, grab a bite to eat, spend the afternoon, and come home without having to worry about driving in the dark uh, too, uh, too long. So um, this car show is a everything goes kind of car show. So we're going to have old cars, new cars, some exotics, customs, off-road, uh, rat rods, uh, you, you name it, it's going to be there and I do plan on taking the camera with me so that we can get all kinds of pictures and uh, have a special video. Might even have to put it into two parts because you know there's 3,000 or more cars that go to this show. So we'll get lots of video, we'll compile it and uh, we'll highlight a few special ones and spend some time, maybe we can talk to some of the owners about those vehicles and they can tell us a little bit about them, maybe where um, where the car came from, how long it took them to build, power plant, different stuff like that. So that is the plan for this weekend. Uh, like I said, we'll, we'll leave on Saturday morning bright and early, probably somewhere around eight o'clock and then that way we can take the two and a half hours to get there and still have plenty of time to catch in all the sites. So that is what's going on. The Moncton Nationals, uh, or the Atlantic Nationals, I will put the website address right up here so that you can check that out. And uh, if you're from anywhere as close to Moncton, New Brunswick, um, you can take a look and see if it's something worthy of driving up and see what's out there. So if you live in New England, it's uh, less than a day's drive to get there. The total event goes on from Thursday to Sunday. So if you can't make it just on Saturday, it's there for uh, most of the end of the week. A little bit of a funny story. I was recording for the vlog in one of my last videos and I looked at the temperature in the vehicle and I wanted to convert it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So I used my phone and Google Assistant. And of course, everybody knows how to open your Google Assistant simply by saying, that's right. The, when, I, when I did that, I inadvertently uh, started some of the viewers who obviously use Android phones I inadvertently activated their Google Assistant while they were watching the video. So I'm going to try my best to avoid saying, OK, Google. Oops. I did it again. 
Anyways, I thought that was kind of hilarious and uh, I felt the need to share that for you. So Shane, Winnipeg Car Life, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't interrupt too much of my video and that you got to finish watching the whole thing. We're going to be getting my car, the 79 Cordoba, ready for a trip to Moncton, to the Moncton Nationals. So first of all, I want to apologize if you're getting some wind noise here. It's just a little bit breezy today. Hot. My goodness, it's like almost 90 degrees. The humidity is close to 100. But uh, anyways, I'm going to stand over here in the shade. Uh, what we're going to do to my car is I've noticed that the uh, temperature gauge has not been rising uh, very far. So I'm thinking the thermostat might be stuck in the open position, which is fine uh, so that the engine runs a little bit cooler. Uh, but I am going to replace the thermostat. Uh, also, I'm going to adjust headlights Thursday, tomorrow. It won't be part of this video, but I will make sure I get some footage of it. Uh, there's a fellow in town here who does pinstriping, and he's going to come and he's going to do some pinstriping on my car uh, because I've never done it where the gray and the silver are uh, where they meet on the fenders of the car. So it's just been a tape line that's always been there. So we're going to fix that. And he's going to put some uh, pinstripe on the car. I'm not sure what color I'll go with. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section below if you want to see a specific color to separate the silver and gray on my car. And then we'll reveal it in the next video. So that's what we're going to do. He's also going to be doing some pinstriping on the 36 Dodge. Um, so dad's going to have some of that done to his car and again we'll reveal that in the next video so you can take a look and see what uh, what kind of job this guy does and again it's hand pinstriping it's not you know not vinyl decals or anything like that it's all a little brush and some paint and away he goes uh, so the trip to Moncton is roughly about 250 kilometers and takes about uh, two two and a bit hours to get there we plan on leaving Saturday morning probably somewhere in the vicinity of about uh, between eight and nine depending on how the morning goes and uh, be a nice leisurely drive up there and uh, you know I don't like to push the car too hard and it's just far enough like I said before that no cruise control makes it a little bit hard to uh, keep your foot into that the gas pedal for, <laughs> for two and a half hours straight so I'm going to uh, probably let Junior drive a little bit on the way up because he is coming with me so we're going to get the car here later on today uh, get a few of those things looked after, make sure uh, we're going to balance the tires on the car. Uh, as long as I've had this car, I've only probably put about 15,000 kilometers on it since I restored the car, never balance the tires. I do have a little bit of a shake, so we are going to uh, get the tires, uh, the wheels taken off, we'll rebalance them uh, to help get rid of that shake for the long drive ahead. So this is what we're going to be doing right now. Well, that's not good. Mama parked her van behind my car and the spare keys at the shop. So, I guess we're going to the shop to get a key. So now, back home. And we have a key for Mama's van. She warm in here. And the reason why I had to go to the shop to get the spare key for her van is when she was doing her run back and forth to St. John, once in a while she'd have to leave her van at the shop. So I just kept the spare key there so that it was always there. Now that she's not doing a run, I guess I should be keeping it on me. The odometer rolled over, finally. That in no way reflects the original mileage on this thing. I've already had to change the odometer, this whole cluster thing there once. And I initially, when I rebuilt the car, had reset it to zero kilometers. And I had put roughly about 9,000 clicks on it before it uh, died. And on this one here, it was reading about 97,000 when I put this one in. So it just rolled over to zeros again. So like I said, I've got about 13 to 14,000 kilometers on this since uh, we redid the car. Anyways, off to the shop. And we're back at the shop again. Let's get this show on the road.
So anybody familiar with American Racing Wheels will understand the frustration of these little Allen screws, Allen head screws. I bet you didn't know this, but there's both metric and standard Allen keys. It's ridiculous. These are half ounce stick on weights, and that's what we're going to use. Perfect. So now I'll go get the other one. When I look at this tire, the inside edge seems to be wearing a little worse than the rest of the tire. So that tells me that we quite possibly have an alignment issue. When I get back from Moncton this weekend, I'm going to uh, book an alignment for this thing. Well, aren't I just a hot mess? It's like 100% humidity in this garage and there's like no breeze. Now, anyway. we're going to change out the thermostat on this uh, on this pig. So it's just a couple of bolts here and yes, that ow, is still hot. So we are going to change this out and try not to get burnt. So I think what we'll do is we'll take the radiator hose off here first and drain as much as we can down there. That way, we don't get antifreeze all down inside the engine compartment. Now, the other question is, how much pressure is on this sucker? Most of it in the cash basin there. Not enough. Yep.
So I'm not sure if all that was worth sweating into a great big ball of sweaty sweatiness. But come Saturday when we're driving down the highway at approximately 120 kilometers an hour with no vibrations coming out of the front end, I think it'll be worth it. So we've got the tires balanced, we got the new thermostat installed, and we are ready to go. So guys, if you like what you see, please give it a big thumbs up or down. And if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a new video. So that is it for this video. We're gonna move on to the next one. And by then, hopefully, we'll be in Moncton. So I just got a message from my wife regarding the fact that she took her keys with her and I had to make an extra trip out to the shop. And this was the reply from her and Junior. Don't I have a great family? <laughs>